Hello everybody, here we are today doing a series review between the Florida Panthers and the New York Rangers. And before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So in game one in Madison Square Garden, Matthew Kachuk would score the opening goal of the period and of the series as the Panthers get out to a one nothing lead. In the second, you would see no team or neither team score zero goals in the second period of play. And that would mean the Florida Panthers, after 40 minutes, are up one and nothing. The Rangers had 12 shots in that time. Then in the third, it would be Carter Verhage that ends up getting a goal. Really, it's Alexei Lafreniere with an own goal. It happens, just kind of a weird play of the puck as, you know, it's hockey. Then it would be Sam Bennett that would get an empty netter to make it a 3 to nothing game. The Panthers would go on to win this game by that score as they shut out the New York Rangers in game one on the road. And you would see the team also have a goal disallowed. So theoretically, we're in a world where maybe Florida wins 4 to nothing. So then in game two, with the Rangers being down one to nothing, Vincent Trocek would end up getting his team on the board as they now have their first lead of the series. But you would see Carter Verhage score a goal in the first to tie things up as well. In the second, again, both teams kind of seem allergic to scoring second period goals as it remains a one to one game, entering the final period of play. But guess what? Neither team ends up scoring in the third period, so that sets up a low-scoring overtime game. And it's the perennial Rocket Richard contender, Barkley Goudreau, that ends up scoring the game-winning goal as the Rangers even up the series, and we are headed to the Sunshine State. So the first two games of the series were relatively low scoring, but this game would be a high scoring affair that was really fun. So this would kick off with a Sam Reinhardt power play goal, but you would see the Rangers have Lexi Lafreniere score a goal to make it a one-to-one -one affair. Then, like 30 seconds later, Barkley Goudreau scores another goal in the series. It is now a two-to-one game, but then Sam Reinhardt, like he started off the game, ends up getting another power play goal. So it's two-to-two, -two, and this is all within the first period. So then we would see our first second period goal of the series as Alexi Lafreniere scores and not long after it is Marco Goudreau that's a shorthanded goal as after 40 minutes of play the Rangers are up 4-2. to two. We would see things get broken up here a bit though as Alexander Barkov would end up scoring a goal well and then you have Gustav Forsling to make it a 4-4 four four game and this one gets pushed to overtime yet again. So who's going to be the playoff hero for either team? It's going to be Alexander Winberg in overtime that ends up scoring the game-winning goal. As the Rangers win this one 5-4, very fun as they go 2-1 in the series. They end up winning this game despite being outshot 37-23. Doesn't matter though, they are now two wins away from making it to the Stanley Cup Final. So game four is of course going to be a pivotal game as the Rangers look to go up 3-1 in a nice promising sign for them as they get out to an early lead and get their first power play goal of the series. The power play was kind of a talking point in this series, but in the second you would see the Panthers end up responding. So game four was obviously really pivotal for both sides as the Rangers look to go up three to one. They get out to an early lead in the first period and it's their first power play goal of the series to this point. Their power play is kind of a talking point of the series, but in the second you would see Sam Bennett and Carter Vayer Hagee respond. It's kind of a weird way to say his name, but yeah, the Panthers are now up two to one. Very, very dire situation for them and they are aware of that. And then in the third, it would be Alexi Lafreniere, a guy that's really been able to show up in the playoffs so far, that ends up making this a 2-2 game. This one would get pushed overtime. This has not really been a bad thing for the Rangers up to this point, but you'd see Blake Wheeler get called for hooking in overtime. It'd be Sam Reinhardt, who ended up scoring two power play goals in the previous game with a game-winning power play goal as the series is now leveled up as we head back to MSG. So game five will, of course, allow one team to take a 3-2 series lead. And this is the first time in the series, I believe, we didn't see either team score a first period goal but in this again it would be Chris Kreider with his first goal of this series short and a goal by the way they seem to have a knack for that but the Panthers would be able to go up and tie this one up to make it a one-to-one -one game and of course it's one-to-one -one as we enter the final 20. So with the series being relatively close for a good portion of it you would see Anton Lundell end up getting his team the lead in the third then you would see Sam Bennett get his second empty net goal of the series as we're up three to one and this game is over but not so fast Alexi Lafreniere, a name, again, we hear about a lot, ends up scoring a goal to make it 3-2 to two with a little under a minute left to play. Unfortunately, that is where it would stay as the Rangers end up going down 3-2 to two in this series. And according to a stat that I saw online, they are 0-7 in Game 5s in the Eastern Conference Final, dating back to 1986. And that is unfortunate for them as they now have to win in Florida. 
So game six is going to be huge, right? Because if the Panthers win, they end up going on to the Stanley Cup final for the second straight year. And if the Rangers win, you get game seven back in New York. This one kicks off with a first period goal by Sam Bennett. And this is a very tight game. Very frustrating, I'm sure, for Rangers fans as they're trying to get a goal early. And hopefully be able to cruise to an easy victory. That's not the case, though, as after 20 minutes, it's 1-0 Florida. Then in the second... No goals, kind of like we talked about at points in this series, as Florida is now 20 minutes away from going on to the Stanley Cup final yet again. And they would be boosted by a Vladimir Tarasenko goal in the third period. That was his first goal of the series, first point of the series, mind you. This was the first point that he had since the second round. And I don't remember what game it was that they said. I think it had been game three of that series. Either way, that is a big, big boost for this Florida team that feels really confident now in this final run. They are now having a multi-goal lead, but it would be Artemi Panarin scoring a 6-on-5 goal to make it a 2-to-1 game. Almost said 6-to-5 game. That'd be crazy. But yeah, you're in this spot where it's now a one-goal game. Nothing more comes of it, though, as the Florida Panthers go and win this game 2-to-1 and are now headed to the Stanley Cup Final. Now, looking back at this series, there's a lot of things we could talk about in it, but I think one thing that is certainly going to be talked about is the trio of Mika Zibanejad, Chris Kreider, and then Artemi Panarin combining for one goal in the series. That was Kreider's lone point of the series, and I know Artemi ended up having more points than either of these two players, but that is very frustrating because you had Alexi Lafreniere that was certainly doing very well for himself and for the team in the playoffs at times with his goal-scoring ability. But for a lot of other people, you wondered if the star power is going to be able to produce. And for some of these guys like Sabanajad and Kreider, especially, they did not have a good series. The power play as well was 1 for 15, if I'm not mistaken, for the run in the Eastern Conference Final. That is not going to cut it against the Florida Panthers team that was dominating them again at 5-on-5 five five at points in this series. A huge ball to them, but credit to Sergei Bobrovsky as well, as he gets two shutouts in this six-game span and was part of this Florida side that was just able to wear down the Panthers and make this team look like they were, again, a step below the Panthers as they were a side that made the Stanley Cup Final last year. So for the New York Rangers, they are a team that is going to be talking about the President's Trophy curse you know, kind of persisting. My take is that it is a good team playing another good team. You're playing the best of the best. Things are going to happen and you could go out there and lose. That's just really what it is. You're playing a Florida side that has been really good over the past three years. Still though, for New York Rangers fans, just to even get to the Stanley Cup final would have been nice to say we have a chance. They don't get that though as the season is now over for them and they are hoping that next year can be another good year for them as they made two deep runs in the playoffs over the past three years. As for the Florida Panthers, it is jubilation as they are back to the Stanley Cup Final just the third time in franchise history. They've been able to get there and this is also fun too because talking about the ESPN broadcast, they're the first team since the 2008-2009 Pittsburgh Penguins to go to back-to-back -back Stanley Cup playoffs looking to win that second matchup. So the first time in 08, the Penguins lost to the Red Wings. And then, of course, last year, the Panthers lost to the Golden Knights. They're looking for redemption here as it's not very common to see teams go to the Stanley Cup final back-to-back -back years. And I'm hoping for Florida, maybe they can go out there and get their first championship. Very good team. They're in a better spot than they were last year. And they could very well beat either the Dallas Stars or the Edmonton Oilers, which will be playing Sunday night. And I'm hoping that that is going to get extended to Game 7 because it'd be really fun to see. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this series? Why do you think the Rangers lost? Why do you think the Panthers won? Let me know all that stuff down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you love hockey all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.